It's the internet. You're busy. Let's do this. I'm Jeff Grubb with GameSpeed.com. This time we are looking at the Razer Huntsman Elite. This is a new mechanical gaming keyboard from, from Razer uh, that weighs in at a whopping $200. Um, and it's a keyboard that really just it tries to have it all or, or most. It's missing a few key features that might help justify that price. But overall, I think Razer does a good job with making this keyboard make sense even at that huge price point um let's let's go over some of the basics here it is a mechanical gaming keyboard it has a it plugs in via usb obviously it has all the chroma rgb lighting your heart could ever want um and it uses opto mechanical switches this is a a new well i don't know i Every time I say that, I find out that this stuff's been around for 40 years and they're just starting to use it again for some reason. Uh, but it is a new for Razer, maybe, a switch where it uses like light and a gap in the switch to actuate instead of like a little notch in a mechanical metal switch that when you push it down, it like latches on and then that says, oh, now type this key. Um, this is just, it's all done with light and there's still some clickiness to it. Hear that? Pretty clicky. Uh, and so I, I like the way it sounds, but it's also very, very fast. It responds very quickly, uh, similar to like a speed key from, excuse me, from Cherry. Like a Cherry MX Silver Speed or something like that. That's This is kind of what you're going to get here just because it's light. And light is very fast. Although, to be fair, light is probably also just as fast as like a physical object moving like moving through a space right i mean because like your matter i'm trying to explain like the 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 physical switch as it goes down and the thing flips over that matter is is filling that space as fast i guess it's not light speed i i don't know who knows um, maybe it, maybe this is that much faster F for me it's fast enough and that's what i want so let's get into what I like. I, I really do like these switches. Uh, they, they sound nice. They are clicky. They're good for typing. They don't, like, it's a very light touch. It's a very light actuation. You don't have to put a lot of force into it, so it feels nice for gaming as well as typing. Um, and then you still get that really satisfying click. And it's just, it's always, it's worked. I haven't had a lot of false positives, um, even with that light activation or actuation. Um, which is something that I do have problems with with some keyboards that have such light force feedback or, you know, uh, such light friction on the key press that you end up getting like, oh, uh, where the hell did that F come from? Why do I have four Fs in there? I, I didn't type F, but my finger was just br like grazing the key and that was enough to activate it. I also like uh, that this is such a slickly designed keyboard. And let's take a look at it here. So... Uh, this is kind of, this is not the best camera angle. I'll have some other footage in here as well. But this is the Razer uh, uh, Huntsman Elite. Uh, what you'll notice is it has RGB lighting all around on the, the media buttons, like all like in the wells for these buttons as well, but on the volume key here. The volume key ref, uh, reflects that it's been muted. Um, and it's chroma, so everything sort of responds as you would expect, uh, depending on what you're doing in a game. Um, and the lighting just, it looks really good. It's really solid. It's mostly bursting through the uh, keycaps here as opposed to uh, lighting up underneath, which is something that um, I think like HyperX's newest keyboard, it focuses most, most of the light downward onto its metal frame, which I really like. Now this is, I believe this is, I, I can't remember. I thought this was metal. I think there is some metal along the side here, but I think this frame here is plastic. Um, but it feels really solid, it's really slick, and I really do like the outer uh, RGB lighting here. And you can see it even goes onto the, the wrist rest. Wrist rest. It's even up here up front as well. You can see it reflecting in my fingers. Um, it's able to do that because there is a magnetic latch here. And that magnetic latch is powered over USB. So you have to plug in this one cable into your computer at the end it has two count them one two usb plugs at the end that you need to plug in your computer to power both the keyboard and then this as well you don't get an extra like pass through usb port on the keyboard 
uh, for plugging that in. It all just goes goes to this. So that's a bummer. Um, but I, I also think it's, it's really comfortable because the wrist rest is so nice and cushy and big and, and it's just, it's exactly where I want it and it extends as far as I want. And it has this, and this does have that, um, some of that aluminum in it around here. So it just feels nice and cool to the touch, which I, I also like. Uh, it's just a, it's a well-designed and very comfortable keyboard. Now that is, um, that's not all the features that this thing has. It also, you know, in addition to like the media keys and the traditional chroma lighting, this thing also has support for Philips Hue lighting. Uh, with Philips Hue, the, the, the keyboard will react to whatever, whatever is on your screen using the Philips Hue Sync app. Um, I'll try to show some of that stuff off here right now, but, uh, and, and this works with all of your Razer products. So with the really excellent RGB lighting on the Huntsman Elite, combined with something like a uh, Razer Mamba um, Hyperflux, you know, wireless mouse with, with a RGB mouse pad, and maybe some, I don't know, I think they make some RGB headphones. That I, I haven't used any of those before, but maybe they have those as well. And then you can have all, as many Hue lights in your room as you want. Uh, you could put them in your lamps. You can have a Hue light strip. You can have uh, the the surrounding little, these guys, the Hue goes, which I'm actually, I like using for recording videos. Um, and then they will all sync up and you can actually position them using the Hue app onto different parts of the, like where the, uh, you can position them in a room. It'll give you a three, like a 2D image of a room and you just shuffle them around. You place them where they are in relative to your monitor in the room. And then the Hue Sync app will take that information and take the information on your screen and give different colors to different lights depending on where they are, in, you know, again, relative to what is happening, you know, the action that is happening on your screen. And it works with games, works with movies, works with just about any app. There's a few that, that cause a headache, like uh, Netflix has some uh, HDCP protection. And I don't think that works, at least not in full screen. Um, but most everything else does work. Every game works. Uh, and it's it's cool. And I like it. And the fact that Razer supports that is neat. It's a gimmick for sure. But it's a cool one. I really do like it. And you're not going to be able to convince me that I don't. Um, so, yeah. It's a, it's a lot of good stuff. It's a lot of, like, I mean, I really think it's a well-made keyboard. It's, a, it's solidly built. It is probably Razer's best keyboard yet. Um... So then let's talk about what I don't like. It's it's pretty basic. I just think that uh, for $200, I would have probably expect macro keys. I would probably expect uh, to have that USB pass-through uh, option as well. Um, I, I don't know the specs for putting USB into a keyboard. And if this light-up pad really does prevent you from putting in a USB pass-through port as well, okay, I guess. I mean, I really do like having this, this wrist pad light up, as dumb as that sounds. And as much as I would say I, I do want a pass-through USB port on a keyboard, I'll live. You know, there's there's other options, other ways of um, of putting, like bringing a, a USB port from your desktop, like right onto your desktop right in front of you, and that doesn't necessarily need to go through the keyboard. Um, but those are, I mean, you just, you would think for $200, they would go all the way out, and really just like they went all out. They went all out. Not all the way out. Y you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, that is the Razer Huntsman Elite. It is... It's good. I um, I do think I plan to keep it on my desk for now. Because I'm really, I really do like the way it feels. If I were to replace it with anything that I like, just have sitting around right now before I start sending stuff off again, uh, you know, as, as for giveaways, it would be that HyperX... Um, FPS alloy RGB, the, the brand new one that has the metal frame. Uh, I think that one just looks phenomenal, and that uses um, silver speed keys. Problem with that one is I do get uh, the occasional uh, false positive from that just because my fat fingers on those very sensitive switches. So for now, I think this is just going to be the keyboard that is on my desk. I think it looks great. Uh, only problem is I wish that the Hyperflux Razer system supported something other than the Mamba. I just don't like the Mamba at all. Um, and if that, if that worked with like a, uh, um, 
not a not a lance head. I can't the basilisk. If it worked with the basilisk, um, and it had like a wireless, you know, like a, a wireless charging basilisk, basilisk as an option for that, uh, I would set that up as well. But I'm actually using a Logitech, uh, and I'm using their lightning thing, their their wireless charging thing, with a 902, and I'm actually still using the 502 Hero a lot as well, even though it's wired. Um, that would be come up with a wireless one of these for the wireless charging pad. Logitech, that would be great. Um, so yeah, that's gonna do it. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go for a walk. I think <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. I just thought I should share. Thank you for watching so much. Um, I'll catch you guys next time. I think I will have a couple more videos. I'm reviewing the Samsung monitor uh, that's you know right in the wheelhouse for most people at like $400 at 1440p and. 144 hertz you should check that out and then i'll also have a review of a benq hdr 1440p 144 hertz uh free sync monitor that is quite a bit more expensive um but it has those more those extra features so maybe it, it'll well out in the end okay so thanks for watching guys i've already said that a couple times i'm just gonna go now bye thank you thank you again and thank you